Welcome back. You are watching TVU's Most Wanted. I am Jared, and as promised, the legend, guitarist, lead vocalist, and all-around cool guy, Dan Cassidy from The Fold, joining me via Skype. How you doing, man? Very good. This is very Oprah of you. Very Skype Oprah of me. Skyping. <laughs> you know what? I don't take that as a compliment because we'll talk about this later, but you just unfollowed Oprah on Twitter, actually, didn't you? Yeah, I, I threw her away like a used TV talk show host. <laughs> That's fantastic. So the last time we talked, uh, we caught up this past summer. I have to ask, how's the banana suit holding up, man? You guys busted that out lately? Not Maybe not since that day. That might have been the last hurrah for the what? bananas. <laughs> what happened? They had a good two-year run. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just like, all right, we're done with this. Did you bury it? You probably should have buried those costumes. Uh, they're, they're getting moldy in my garage somewhere. <laughs> or actually, I think we froze them. We're going to make some shakes later. Man, I do not want to be an important member of your family because some family member is going to die and you're like, bury him now, nah, just let him get moldy in my garage, no big deal. <laughs> Those are important things, man, all right? Zero reverence in Z my life. <laughs> Zero reverence. No, but seriously, how you guys been since the summer, man? What have you guys been up to? Oh, it's been fun. I think, um, I think right after we were with you, we uh, went to Denmark and um, shot a video. That's where Lego is from. And yeah. This whole crazy thing, we did a theme song for a show. And so it was just like a blast. Like we've never gone somewhere that's that far of a trip where our sole purpose was to make a music video. So we were there for like five or six days and we just hung out and had fun and it was real laid back and awesome place to be. They call it, Oprah calls it the happiest place on earth. Oh, <laughs> wait, Oprah calls Denmark the happiest place on earth? Yeah, I saw, I, I mean, I used to watch Oprah daily. I, I should probably <laughs> mention, I think every time what? I talk to you. What? Wait, like stop right there. Stop right there. You used to watch Oprah daily? Yeah, I mean, those those last, like, 10 seasons, 10 oh years were strong. <laughs> Let me just, is Oprah a half-hour show or an hour show? Uh, it was usually an hour. I okay, think. so one of these days, I want you to go back through and just add up how many hours <laughs> of your life you have wasted on Oprah. Oh, man, she makes dreams come true, though. She <laughs> I'm thinking I should re-follow her, actually. <laughs> you're feeling bad about unfollowing her on Twitter. Yeah. Now you're like, oh, man, I'm sorry, Oprah. All right, well, you know what? Let's catch up with Dan from The Fold. Dan from The Fold on the show via Skype. So we were just talking about Oprah, and I'm just going to... We're just gonna push that one aside. We're gonna leave that one, we're gonna sweep it under the rug, pretend like it never happened. I wanna talk <laughs> about Halloween, man. You guys dressed up for Halloween. Tell me about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, we are like, I mean, before, before I became a Christian, I didn't even know much about Christian rock. So I was like, all through the 90s, uh, just like straight up punk rock was what I listened to. And so, uh, we got the idea of our drummer is out of town. He was out of town at a wedding over the Halloween weekend. So uh, I've always been a drummer my whole life. The Fold right. in 2006 was the first time I sang. So I'm like, I'd love to do that, play like all no effects and uh, face to face and all these bands that we grew up listening to, but I'll play the drums and we got this kind of shredding guitar player to do it with us. And then our bass player, Matt, sang all the vocals. So we just did it. And we did two shows, one in the suburbs of Chicago and one in Chicago. And it was just a ton of fun. Dude, that is up. awesome, man. Now, yeah. was that a costume that you had to explain? Or did people get it right when they saw you guys? Uh, I mean, I my particular costume, I was trying to be the drummer of No Effects, whose right. name is Smelly. <laughs> and um, so my particular costume kind of came off as just like creepy Freddie Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I that's grew, awesome. Grew a little upside down, what do you call that? Horseshoe kind of thing. Fu Manchu? You Fu grew a Fu Manchu? Yeah, I was calling it a Fu Manchu, but then somebody said what it was, and there's a better name for it, but pretty much Fu Manchu. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. All right, so let's talk about facial hair for a second then. That is a subject that comes up frequently on TVU's Most Wanted. I actually <laughs> saw that on Twitter that you grew a beard. Now, recently you shaved it, but that, yeah. tell me about that. Yeah, I, um, the first week of October, I was like, we do this thing called Mustache May every year. I'm sure uh, some Mustache bands have yes. brought that to you. 
And so I chickened out this year and the past year. I was like, I can't do it. I I just like I can't go into a grocery store with that. It's just, <laughs> I feel like a terrible person. So this October, like there was a goal in mind. I was like, you know, I, I want to look like the drummer. We want to make good costumes. So I was like, I'm going to not shave from like October 6th, I decided. And I just did it. And I just grew like a normal face of <laughs> facial hair. So I didn't have to just do the mustache. So it was a little easier. And I kind of liked it. But then on the 28th and 29th, I had to shave it into this thing. And that was rough. <laughs> I had to, I had to kind of hide out at home for a couple of days. Now there there are pictures of this online, right? We, where can we find pictures? Oh yeah, if uh, if you follow the fold, it's just uh, twitter.com/thefold or facebook.com/thefold. We uh, we posted plenty of pictures. All right. And um, our singer, the singer of No Effects, dressed up as a clown for some weird character. He was. <laughs> embodying a couple years ago so our our bass player dressed up as the same clown so that's what that's all about <laughs> that is amazing all right so follow the fold check them out you can link up at tvulive.com and speaking of twitter we're gonna get you some of dan's tweets coming up we gotta uh, ask you questions about some of these they are great dan from the fold hanging out with me via skype Ooh, snagging some candy is that did you go <laughs> trick-or-treating i uh, i actually have a a one-year-old, so we took her trick or treating yesterday, and it was it was amazing. So already no, stealing candy that. from a baby. Well done. Yeah, I get to go through the candy. You know, I made sure I always picked my favorite because she doesn't know. She doesn't know any. <laughs> She's not gonna know. I actually saw a stat the other day that said ninety percent of parents admit to stealing candy from their <laughs> kids' candy stash. From a baby. Yeah, ninety percent, oh. man. You know what I say? I say I salute the 10% that hold off and don't do that. I think they're probably just lying, though. <laughs> yeah. All right, dude, so let's let's talk about your tweets. Uh, I have a list of tweets here that I want you to tell me about. If you don't follow Dan from The Fold on Twitter, you should. Uh, let's talk about this first one here. Okay. Not sure what I'm getting myself into tonight, but I might give blood dressed as a vampire with a bow tie picks to follow. Explain that. I didn't see a picture, but explain to me why. Yeah, happened. yeah, that that was for charity, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's just get this out of the way. I wasn't just like doing some crazy <laughs> thing. It was for charity. Yeah. Um. I have a one of my best friends here is uh, this guy Ryan who worked at the rock station Q and one before it closed, and um, he asked me to join him, and then uh, this other guy Abe Kanan who they do a show together now for Howard Stern, and. Uh, all I knew was that we were probably going to give blood dressed as a vampire and we had to like reenact a child photo. And so there were like 20 things that we could do and whoever got the most of these things knocked out um, got to donate like $1,000 to their favorite charity. Okay. And so uh, Ryan ended up giving blood dressed as a uh, vampire instead of me. Okay. So I will uh, post that on my Twitter. Feed. All right, see, yeah, now we're calling you out. We need pics. All right, let's move on to the next one here. It was so nice of the Lombard Police Department to make an appearance at our garage practice last night. Tell me about that. The Lombard PD, um, that was when we were practicing for this uh, Halloween kind of cover set. And um, there's just no way to do that quietly. It's like <laughs> drums that sound like this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, the guitars, there's two guitar players just trying to out-volume each other. <laughs> so um, inevitably, the, the police were going to come. So it was about an hour into the first garage practice, and we had to do three of those. And uh, the, the cops, you know, the funny thing is they have to wait till you finish your song. So, like, we were playing, like, a four-minute song, and you, <laughs> you knew that cop was out there hating every minute of it. Yeah, he was getting a free show, though. You hear knock, knock, knock. <laughs> and they're always very clear to be like, I personally thought it sounded great, but uh, <laughs> right, <laughs> the whole neighborhood hates you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is that's awesome. All right, so last but not least, I think this could be my favorite too. Uh, this was just hates the sound of people eating bananas. Now you follow that up by this tweet. Hoping you read that last tweet right next to a super serious tweet about someone who died just to show how silly this Twitter thing is. Dude, <laughs> that was so funny. When I read that and saw I hate, he hates the sound of people eating bananas, followed up by, I hope you read that next to a serious tweet. That was hysterical. Tell me about that. 
No, the uh, the original hates the sound of people eating bananas is. Uh, have you ever heard of this comedian Aziz Ansari? Sounds like, familiar, but I don't think I know any of his stuff. Yeah, he's like an uh, Indian guy. He's on that show uh, Parks and Rec. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 And um, he in his in his uh, stand up he he said that how there was like some terrible dating show on MTV and he's like. How do these people like come up with their their likes and dislikes? It's like Dan <laughs> hates the sound of people eating bananas. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. So we always make fun of that. So I just reposted that and didn't give him credit because why should I? Right. <laughs> why should you? <laughs> and then I just thought that would be really funny if someone read that next to a series. <laughs> like oh, who is man. this loser? Like why do we care if he hates the sound of people eating bananas? <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, hey, if you don't follow Dan on Twitter, you should. You can get the links through tvulive.com. We got some emails and stuff coming up, and then we're going to come back with Dan. We're going to premiere the brand-new video for The Weekend Whip, and we'll talk about that. Stick around. More coming up. It's TVU's Most Wanted.